Hey guys, I'm back again. I want to show you this book. Um, I did a video before about this book. It's called How to Draw Superheroes and Supervillains. It's mainly for kids, but believe it or not, uh, the artist um, actually works for DC Comics. And uh, I looked it up already. Uh, it says back here someplace. Um, it's a very good book. Um, let me see the, the, author, the author's name. Doesn't really tell you, but anyway, um, I know I saw this before, and uh, it's got a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Um, of course, uh, this guy actually works with uh, gestures, just like why I, you know, what I've been showing you guys doing gestures, gesture drawings and stuff. So it's a pretty good book. Uh, as you can see right here, he does like different sets of um, ideas. For example, these are just like doodling and uh, it's like you're planning the drawing and that's what he does. And uh, let me see if I can find out his name. It should be here someplace. And here's, uh, for example, the, uh, the content tools, the tools that you need. How to draw Superman, Supergirl, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and all that stuff. All the uh, characters from DC Comics. And here's the introduction. Here's some really cool drawings. And uh, you could tell right here is like gesture drawing. Pretty much he explains what you need, the tools that you need. Here we got tools. And when we're talking about tools is pencil, pens, erasers, and all that stuff. You know, T-squares, inking, brushes, uh, pen and ink. Um, I got this, um, but I got it like probably like this size, you know, kind of like a triangle. I got, I don't have this. I have, I need to get this. I have this already. It's like a small little ruler. Um, always important when you're doing ink. <clears throat> Uh, white out ink. It's very good when you you know when you're doing mistakes, and you want to correct your mistakes. And here's all these types of pens that you need. I'll tell you right here, colored pencils in case you want to like you know. I know a whole bunch of friends of mine that actually does um, penciling and inking, and there was there's another friend that actually does um, uh, colors, which he's pretty good at it. Um, he has a great drawing of Superman. And as you can see, it's all about gestures, you know, like for example, the guy, the artist actually does the planning, like which pose would be the best. And then he came out with this one. So he started working with the gesture, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the construction of the, of the figure, which, uh, it's pretty easy. It's, um, it's all about, like I was telling you before on my other videos, it's all about con, you know, contour and outlining the figure, which is pretty cool. Over here, you can see the, the finish um, process, the, uh, the penciling, finished pencils, and then he does the inking and stuff like that. It kind of looks like, uh, which I'm going to show you probably tomorrow, I'm gonna, um, I have a book by Neil Adams. He is the, um, mostly the, uh, the artist that actually does a lot of Batman and Robin and uh, Conan and all these other characters. Uh, Neil Adams, uh, he worked for DC and Marvel Comics. And uh, this book that I'll probably show you tomorrow, um, he does a lot of messy gesture drawings. Like for example, he does the, uh, the figure drawing, but he does it sort of like messy like. And believe it or not, from the messy gesture, that's how he does the uh, construction of the body and stuff. Here we have like, uh, for example, this is a um, rough sketch, it's called. And that's another way of do doing uh, doodling, the rough sketch. You do a rough sketch uh, on a side, on a regular piece of paper, and then, then you start working on a Bristol board paper, the actual drawing that you want. But first you plan it out on a, any, any type, like uh, typing paper, anything, you know. You're, you're planning out the drawing and stuff, and then after that you do the... Uh, and then you get ideas from books and magazines. Let me uh, focus this better. Um, so yeah, you get ideas, you, you know, I advise everybody to get, um, which I used to do, but I don't have too much room in my room. So um, I used to have like different files of things that I need to like reference, buildings, streets, all that stuff. So this will be a good idea. 
you get pictures of buildings and uh, it'll give you an idea of what to do. Because comics, when you're drawing comics, and believe me, I've been, I've been told by a Marvel Comics editor way, way, way back in my time that you need a lot of reference. And it's a really great drawing of a scenery and stuff. Now, you can start out by flat. And the meaning flat is that you just, just draw the buildings and do some details. Now, there's a good way of this, which uh, there's another uh, book I'm going to show you how to do a uh, good perspective. Like you actually draw the, the building and you draw the horizontal line. And, and from there you do the uh, perspective lines, so the one point perspective. And then you, could, you can tell the three dimensional forms of the buildings over here and over here, especially here. So actually, the artist probably did the horizontal line right here. You can tell where the cloud is. And um, that's how we got to this point. And I'll tell you pretty much, I'll explain to you pretty much what you need to do. And then from there, you just do your drawing of Superman on top of the, uh, the city landscape. And stuff. This is a great drawing of uh, Supergirl. And again, these are gestures, like the, the artist actually does the poses. And then from the poses, he actually chooses the right one that he wants. Like, for example, he actually picked the third one. My, my, some, some artists will pick either the second or the first one. But it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of poses. If you want to do a good pose, practice on two or three poses or four poses if you need to. And you pick the right one, and then you start doing the, constructional, the construction of the gesture of the figure. And then... Little by little, you know, you start doing the contour, the outline of the figure. And, uh, yeah, you know, little by little, you start shaping the body. It's a great drawing of Supergirl. Uh, this is more like uh, rough sketches of, uh, I guess I would say, a bird's eye view. Yeah, it says it right here, bird's eye view. Bird's eye view when you're looking down, and that's important. Remember, there's uh, the bird's eye view, there's the uh, ground view. Uh, another thing, too, I forgot to mention, which there's another book that I have. Um, I, for example, you're looking at this city right here, and uh, you have the front view, you have the middle ground, and you have the background. So it's always important to draw the front ground and the middle ground and the background to make your drawing really, really interesting. As you can see over here, you have a front, uh, front ground, front, front view, and the middle ground, and then the background. Even though the background looks pretty tremendously big in the background, but the, the most important thing is that you captured, uh, you know, you capture the, um, how do you call it, uh, I guess the, Okay, yeah, it's, it looks better now. Okay, you know, you capture the scenery of the background of buildings. You, the most important, you know, you do the uh, front ground, the middle ground, and the background. Uh, it's the same thing over here. So let's go back. This book I got um, in Barnes & Nobles not too long ago. As you can see, it's still in good condition. Um... I think you can order it on eBay. I mean, uh, what I'll do is if I find it on eBay, uh, for those that you, for those that are in my group, my drawing group on Facebook, um, I'll probably uh, uh, post um, the link to order the book. So you can see he does uh, background, like for example. It's an eye, uh, a bird's eye view, and then you can see um, Supergirl flying up in the sky. And then, of course, the background is an eye view. You're looking down, like you can see the water, landscapes of the trees and all that. So you're looking down and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Here's a great picture. I mean, the anatomy came out pretty cool on this, the Green Lantern. What I really like about the book is not so much the, because I have my way of doing my own, you know, my own techniques and drawing the figure and stuff like that. So, um, is the details. The guy actually does a lot of great details. You can see he does great muscle toning and you got all these biceps and stuff. I think uh, there's maybe a page over here, but if not, there's other books that I'll show you 
the, how do you call it, the different uh, names of all the biceps and the muscles. So you can see all the biceps and the muscles. Not sure what this is. This is a rough sketch of clarity, I guess. When you're doing special effects, I think, yeah. Clarity. And then from then the penciling, this is awesome. The way he does the inking is really phenomenal. Phenomenal. And then here's the color version of it. Awesome. Here we have Aquaman. Again, he does gestures. Then he chooses the right one, which is this one. This one right here. Finishes the whole process. And this is pretty cool. It's like a rough sketch of a back scenery and stuff of uh, under like an underworld city and then he does more details of fishes and creatures and the sea and when it has to do with aquaman of course you have to do something like that like a city underneath the you know like a underneath the water there's like a, a city uh, i love the way the details the way he did the city and stuff and um i really suggest and i really actually recommend everybody to practice doing you know buildings and different ideas and shape them in different forms. Practice by doing flat, you know, flat drawings. And once you learn the perspective and then you can actually do uh, a, a good perspective scene and three-dimensional building and stuff. There's a great pose right here. Very dynamic. Of course, this is Wonder Woman. He did a great drawing of Wonder Woman. He kind of reminds me of Neil Adams. Neil Adams is a great artist. But even though Neil Adams, his technique is very, very uh, complicating when he draws the figure. It's like he, I don't know how he does it. It kind of like he draws the figure by doing scribbling and messy lines and all kinds of directions. This is a great drawing of a Roman city. And of course, he does Wonder Woman in the front view. And as you can see, look, it's like kind of perspective. He does this, um, the rough sketch right here. He does, he plans it out and then he does sort of like perspective. You can tell this is sort of like perspective. Uh, I think the horizontal line sh would be around here. Then from the three point perspective, I would guess is that it would be right here. Remember when you're doing a panel, uh, always remember that when you're doing perspective, the the point, the three-point perspective sh might be out of the panel, but don't worry about it. All you have to do is use your T-square and uh, your triangle, and you do the perspective lines, and that's how this came to be. As you can you follow the line, and it would be up to here, I would guess. And perspective is very important when you're doing comics. Very, very important. Several things that you need to learn about comics, which I learned, the, you know, the hard way when I was in New York. An editor actually told me that um, the most important thing is that perspective is very important, three-dimensional, and uh, try not to draw flat. If you're drawing flat, your drawing is not going to be lively like alive you want to make your drawings come alive like you can see here uh flash i think it's flash gordon or no no flashman Fl well the flash um right here is a great uh you can see the arm over here coming for shortening back here his arm is going backwards and of course uh if i were to do this figure i would start off with the head and then i would do the torso and i start working with the um pelvic area and then what I would do is, instead of doing a line for the figure, I would do more like a uh, foreshortening oval right here. And, and right here, you can see it's foreshortening. See, you could, you, you could tell this is like a sense of perspective and foreshortening. That's very important. Right here, he does the finished drawing of Flash. Um, this is my favorite drawing right here. This is pretty cool. This is definitely, definitely perspective. And it's a rough drawing of what he did. Actually, he planned it out. And uh, here's the finished drawing. 
And you can see, look at the uh, perspective lines right here. Uh, here's the horizontal line. And I'll tell you right here, see? The structure and perspective. He will start out with the horizontal line, and uh, of course the lines are going to be coming out this way. As you can see, it's coming out this way, the lines. And then after that, he does the, um, the scenery of the buildings. He follows, actually, the guidelines, and that's what he does with the buildings and stuff. <coughs> right here is the finished drawing. He does the inking, this and that. Uh, one thing that's important too that I've noticed that many artists is actually uh, when they do inking It's always important that when you do the foreground uh, the front the front scene um, You have to do it um, Thicken more the uh, the inking <coughs> The lines are more thicker and then the middle ground a little bit thicker and then the background more thinner um, I'm going to do a video on that because I have a book about, you know, inking. Uh, it's a classic book that I got with way, way back. It's a whole bunch of artists that actually explain how to do inking. Maybe you guys are probably familiar with it. A uh, whole bunch of great artists. Um, I, I forgot their names, but I know there's a whole bunch of famous artists um, that did the book. It's a great drawing of um, the Joker and stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to... Uh, you know, show you the demonstration. Maybe on the next video, I'll show you how this is done. And I'll show you different options because I noticed that this guy, not only he uses this gesture, but he uses another type of gesture. And uh, like I said, many of these uh, comic book artists use different gestures and different techniques and methods. As you can see, he does different uh, styles of the Joker. Right here, he does the planning. And that's the back scene. As you can see, there's some sense of perspective over here, the construction, three-dimensional boxes over here. That's very important, you see? All this is very important. You're bringing your drawing, you know, very, um, how do you call it, lively, you know? You're drawing... Is going to be alive in a way you know you're bringing it to the uh the viewer's eye you're not making it flat then he does over here um the joker right in the scenery right there great drawing i love the way it's just the, the lighting of the the light it's not really helping me out is so maybe if i turn the you can see great drawing look at that and here's Harley Quinn. Everybody loves her. If you want to know how to draw Harley Quinn, there she is. There's the jester. First, he plans it out. A different pole, like one and two and three. And then um, this is the pose he chose. Actually, he started over here. Then he constructs, uh, constructs the figure with the dog. Now, I'm not too familiar with Harley Quinn that much. Um, it's one of those latest characters from DC Comics. You can see there's some type of perspective over here. Um, like I said, the perspective lines probably went, you can see the, the, the direction where the line is going. So mainly, uh, of course, this is the table over here, but if he were to do this on a regular platform of his uh, Bristol board paper, of course, he's going to probably use a T-square and then the triangle to do the perspective, all this. I like the way he did the garbage can. Look at all the details on that. Like, for example, this side of the garbage can, you, you have a sense of darkness and shadow. That's awesome, especially the garbage bags right here. And when he finished the whole drawing, he did the inking so it's phenomenal. Look at that. Then you can tell, of course, this side is going to be dark. And then the outside over here, the background of the building, the, the landscapes of the building, the skyscrapers and all that, you can tell it's more lighter. And remember what I said, the inking is, you know, it's a little bit more ink over here. And, and then the background is less ink. Always keep in mind that 
the, the front view has more ink and the middle ground has kind of like less ink and the background is very thin on, when it comes to inking. Now, I got to admit, uh, this book, even though it's mainly focusing for kids, but it's way better than How to Draw the Marvel Way. And uh, I've mentioned before that uh, I met an editor in New York. He actually told me that How to Draw the Marvel Way wasn't a very good book. Um, it was just a propaganda book. So there were some things good about the book, but it wasn't very, very uh, detailed. Um, and, a lot, and I found that book pretty uh, complicating in a way. Even though I do have the book because I love Marvel, I admire Marvel, but it's not a very, very good book. But he did tell me uh, to the only way you could actually learn how to draw, and that's the way I've been doing it, by using reference and uh, drawing and drawing every day. And uh, he's the one that introduced me to Andrew Loomis. Here he's got an awesome drawing of Catwoman. Great details in the inking. Is, it's great stuff. Here we got Catwoman. And then he draws the background, which is pretty cool. Um, you can tell this is like three-dimensional perspective. And he uses like grid lines to do all these buildings and stuff. So it's, it's amazing. So in a way, this explains more than... All these other books I've got. But uh, what I'm going to do is before I, um, which I'm going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to do some drawing tutorials and I'm also going to do some videos on books that I have that I recommend for you guys to get. Books that I've collected through so many years. This is a great pose of Batman. He actually uh, practice, does the rough sketch, the poses of Batman, and then he continues, uh, actually he starts doing the... Uh, the whole figure. Look at the details on that. That's amazing. You can tell it's not really like really, really a uh, definition of um, anatomy, but it's better than nothing. If you master the, uh, the technique, you'll probably do it way better than this. But to me, this is pretty good. You see over here, he does Batman, but a different gesture. It's a different gesture, which I'll probably show you on my next video. This is a great scenery perspective. The skyscrapers. And I like the way he did from the, uh, the lower view all the way to the top. He does the gargoyle over here, then he does the buildings, and then he does the grid lines, and that's how he does the perspective. And that drawing came out pretty good. I love the way he did that. It's a great drawing of Batman. Over here is a sense of perspective, three dimensional drawings. And you can tell it's like a horizontal line right here. So my greatest guess, he would start out with the horizontal line, the perspective lines, and then he add the figure. But of course he kind of visualized the size of every character in perspective. That's very important. Like over here, he does, you can tell the location, how he arranged it. So this book has more, a lot to offer more than how to draw the Marvel way. This is the artist right here, Scott Goblish. If you want, look him up. He's a very good artist. And it says it right here. He's worked for, he's a cartoonist and author of many Death of Scott Goblish. Let me see. Yeah, DC, Marvel, and Disney, including DC Titans, and Wonder Woman. Uh, yes, yeah, Cyber. I don't know if you guys could see that. The focus is really bad on my phone. Uh, DC, uh, Cybernex, Summer, and Batman, and Gotham Knights. So I, oh, I, I think he does animation too. But I'm going to look him up again. It's a great drawing of Batman. And I love the way he starts from the beginning, the first process. 
This kind of reminds me of the technique from uh, Dan Jurgens that there's another book too that I got to show you. Away, but the book is completely, it's a mess. I had that book for a long time, but I'm still going to do a video on that book. It's, it's like You Can Draw Marvel by Dan Jurgens. So there you go, guys. I mean, I actually recommend you guys get the book. It's called How to Draw DC Superheroes and Super Villains. And, uh, well, the front cover's got, like, three pictures, Batman, and it's got Wonder Woman, and it's got Flash. And like I said, this book is, like, mainly for kids, but the technique and the methods, I mean, you can tell it's very, very professional. All right, guys, good luck, and uh, I'll probably do another video, um, probably working on the techniques and show you pretty much how this guy does the, uh, the techniques. All right, thanks for watching my video, and leave me your comments.